Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Stonehearth and the Nerds of the North. I certainly hope you're having a wonderful day, because I'm certainly excited to be back. We are, of course, with the Nerds of the North. Don't know why that would have been in question. And things are actually going very well. We are currently constructing the road that leads out of town. And I believe we're also constructing a small farmhouse over this way as well. I also believe, yep, there she is. Marshmallow is uh, now a farm cat, which is all sorts of neat. With that said, I'm not actually sure where Spyro has gotten off to, the little dragon. I have, I've not seen Spyro in a little bit. I'm not concerned. I don't think Spyro is in trouble. Oh, no, there's Spyro. Spyro's helping with construction on a little cottage for one down here, so everything's going well. I actually found out that a few hearthlings have other pets. Uh, we actually have, I believe, yeah, we've got a fox in here, and there's a raccoon somewhere else that one of the other hearthlings have. So there's actually quite a few pets around here, which is kind of neat. I also went ahead and bought a couple of new plants, so we actually have some uh, berry foxes just here, and we have some berry bunnies just down here, which I think look adorable, so I thought they'd be, you know, a really nice addition to uh, to the town. I think, you know, they make things look kind of pleasant and kind of nice, especially when this is slightly imposing right here. I think it just looks, I think it looks nice. Now, I do, I do have a question, and I do have a little bit of a concern with the game at the moment, because I've been doing some reading regarding the Geomancer and the clan Amberstone, which is the rabbit people. And I've been reading that apparently when you're doing the rabbit quests, at one point, a group of kobolds will spawn on the map that you have to go and kill. Now, the quest doesn't specifically say that, but apparently that's what you have to do. And apparently in older versions of the game, or at least possibly the version I'm playing on, those kobolds will despawn after a certain amount of time. Now, apparently that won't happen any anymore. The game's actually released at this point. Apparently that won't happen anymore. And apparently, it's fixable if you either start a new game or possibly re-embark with whatever group you have. So I want to throw that out there as a potential thing. We don't necessarily stop this Let's Play. We, you know, the next episode, or somewhere down the line in an episode, we could essentially, you know, re-embark. We, we have the option. A new adventure awaits. We can take a few people with us and re-embark and go out and do whatever we need to do. I'm tempted to do that because I really want the Geomancer. But I'm also aware of the fact that, you know, we would be throwing away all of this, and I really, really dig this, and we still have so much to do. We have a lot of construction still to do. So, I'm not sure personally if I want to do that. We actually, you know what, we have a couple of kobolds up there. We're going to try this. We're going to go up and we're going to deal with those kobolds. There's a chance that what I'm saying is not even going to be an issue, but I wanted to throw that out there as a potential thing. So my question is this. If we cannot get the Geomancer with our current location, do we re-embark slash start a new save? And if I start a new save, I'll sort of, you know, I'll make it look like it's still the nerds of the north. It'll still be, you know, the Northern Alliance or whatever they're called. It'll still be those guys. It'll still look like the nerds of the north. We'll still treat them as like, uh, you know, that clan or that colony or whatever you want to call it. But I know for me, I'd really, really like to get the Geomancer. I'd really like to see what the Geomancer is all about. So... We'll see what happens there, I guess. That, that's that's my question. Anyway, today, I think we will just focus on maybe cleaning up the map a little bit. I'd like to see if we can do a little bit of exploring, see if we can find some things, because uh, there is a lot of work to do, you know? We have a lot of construction to do. We have a lot of things up here that need to be cleared out and killed, so... Let's just do it. Let's just get to it and do the work. Looks like... Uh, are you heading over to build that ladder? Please tell me you're heading over to... Nope. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Do we even have the wood to build that ladder? I guess is the appropriate question. I have no idea. Uh, let's say that we're going to clear out some more forest over here. So all of this can be cleared out a little bit. So just all of you. We'll send people over to clear that out. And hopefully we can get 
the ladders built. Yeah, they're not doing it. They are they are not interested in the ladders, which is kind of understandable in a sense. You know, we're we're building ladders up to things that could kill us. That's probably not super sensible. Invaders approaching. We've oh oh that looks that's interesting. So it's an ogre and some kobolds. All right, let's send red team up to deal with the ogre. They are leaving the farm. There we go. And uh, they should be able to. I had this thing off. Oh, we have a ladder over there. I didn't know that. Or rather, I totally forgot we had a ladder over there. Uh, the game's also lagging a little bit. There's, uh, there's a lot of that going on. I think I mentioned that last time. I think I did mention last time that we are getting a lot of lag at the moment. And uh, I've seen a couple of comments talking about that. And generally, the reason, I think, is a combination of how many trees we have and also... Uh, how many items we have lying around, because there are a lot of them. There are so many items just lying around at the moment. So what I think I might do is I might actually give an order to destroy some of the items that are just lying around here, uh, because there's just too many of them. There, there's so many of them. There's some valuable stuff in there, I will admit, but I just want to destroy all of it. I just, I want to clear it out. I want to see if we can get some of the lag gone. Uh, I am a little worried about some of the items that have the destroy thing away up here. I'm not sure what I'm destroying there, but whatever. I'll tell you what I'm also going to do. I might bring in Hearthling number 30. But I, if, if, you know what? Uh, no, we're not going to do that. Because apparently with the rabbit quest, you can actually get one of the rabbit people to join you. And I have seen some comments as well that have been saying like, Oh, that is that looks like a cobalt camp to me. Now that's interesting. Uh, I have seen some comments that have said that uh, the rabbit people aren't in yet. They they are. They're supposed to be in the game right now. Again, they might not be in my save, but that's not the point. The point is apparently you can get them to join your colony sometimes. Like that's apparently a thing you can do. So I kind of want to do that. Uh, now what I'm going to do is send Red Team over here as quick as possible, because that ladder is now up. Uh, let's send them on an attack move there, and I'm also going to say that alert mode... Why are you going up there? Alert mode needs to be on. And red team is... Where is... Where are my fighters? Why are they taking so long to go everywhere? There's... They, they really take a long time to just get going, I've noticed. And it's incredibly annoying because people keep dying in the process. And it's a little bit awkward. With my, well, they don't die, but they get beat up a little bit, which it's not good. That's that's not a good thing. Uh, now, this fella is apparently looking pretty angry here. A grateful rabbit. Oh, no way. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So this is this is more rabbit quest. Master's bling hat. That's more rabbit quest right there. Now that, that's news. That is, that is big news right there. Because more rabbit quest implies that we're not stuck and that the quest hasn't bugged. Oh. Also, rabbit quest sounds like a really lame, like, RPG game on mobile. I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, to be honest, it probably is. I, I might go check the Play Store right now. I guarantee you rabbit quest is probably a game. Uh, <laughs> it just, it sounds like it would be, doesn't it? It sounds like it would be a game. Uh, right, so that guy's dead. The Cobalt Camp is technically dead. Uh, nothing's attacking us down here. I'm going to leave alert mode on for a second because we have got a couple more things to clear out. So let's go attack that thing. Since we're here, we might as well. Uh, we're apparently going to ignore the caribou, which is fine. So we'll break that open. We'll attack this guy. And this seems like it's going very well. This seems like everything's dying super quickly, which is amazing news. So that's been cleared out. We can head down there and deal with this one little goblin who is about to have a very bad day. Uh, then we can head over this way and deal with these things as well. So let's do that. Let's let's get down there. Let's deal with the bad guys. We are, we're clearing up the mountain. We are clearing up the mountain, and I'm kind of happy about it, because it means that uh, 
I mean, obviously, we're slightly more open to attack with all the ladders there, but, you know, it feels like things are a little bit, you know, cleared up. They're safer, almost, because we can, uh, we can do what we need to do. Uh, now, this looks like it could be rough. But for the most part, it looks like everything's under control, despite the archers not even being there yet. Yeah, the archers are doing whatever they need to do, and these guys have killed whatever they need to kill, so I think we can turn off alert mode, let everybody out, and we can go gather all the loot if we want to. That actually seems like it went really well. And I'm, I'm really excited that we might actually get a rabbit person. Because I think we've done that twice at this point. I think we've done the whole, hey, there's an injured rabbit thing twice, so... I mean, if it happens again, maybe it's bugged, but I... I, I don't want to say it's... You know, I don't want to say it's bugged, because I don't know. And I just really kind of want a rabbit person. I, re I really want a rabbit person. I want to have a rabbit ge Like, a rabbit mage, you know? I want my Geomancer to be from Clan Emberstone. Because that's just awesome. That would be so cool. Like, this this rabbit person, like, flinging a staff around like Gandalf. Also, speaking of rabbit people, there's a game called Overgrowth, which I can't help but think of when I think rabbit person. If you don't know what Overgrowth is, just, like, look up a, a video on it. It's just, like, Overgrowth game or something. It's ridiculous. Like, the, it's got such a good fighting system. Uh... I actually really enjoy it and haven't played it in a long time, so I'm probably going to install that and waste a full day playing it. Just thought I'd bring that up, because it has rabbit people, essentially. Ooh! Statue of, of, of Nut. It looks like a rabbit. I'm going to buy two of those. That seems like a great idea to keep the, uh, to keep the rabbit people happy. Uh, I'm going to buy a couple of these rustic lampposts, because I really like having them. We have a mason's shop sign. We have a wee stone. Oh, it's a wee stone rabbit. So it is. Uh, what is this? A knight statue. Give me both of those. Uh, we've got this thing. We've got a lucky fountain. Waterfall basin. Dude, some of this stuff is so cool. I want all of it. I actually want all of it. Is there anything I have that's worth selling? So I can get some money back? Because I don't have a lot of money. Uh, we have some decorative vases. Those are actually worth a fair bit. So we'll sell those. And I think I'll hold on to everything else. Actually, we have, I mean, we have 10 of those. No, we have 14 of these. We'll sell four of them. I don't think there's any point in selling it. I guess we can sell the trees. We have a lot of those. Oh, we finally got an engineer's workshop. Dude, that's so good. We've been wanting one of these for such a long time. Uh, I guess we're just going to place it sort of in the middle of town the way we, we did at the start. Because there's nowhere else to put it. Which is unfortunate and sucks to the engineer, but that's that's just how it's going to be. Uh, so yeah, we'll place, we'll place this. I didn't really want to put it there. I'd like to move it. Uh, so we'll put this center of town. And for the decorative stuff, like the the stat the knight statues, oh my god, they're huge. Dude, they're huge. Okay, that was uh that was unexpected. Uh the knight statues, I guess, can go there and there. It seems like a bit much though, you know? It seems like there's it's too much. What if we what if we cancel them? Like that. And then we say, go ahead and put the knight statue... Like, put one there. Can I put it there without it being over the edge? No, I guess, I guess put the knight statue there. And put the other knight statue... Right... There. And then I could build a wall around them and sort of have them be like... The knights of... Oh, that looks... That's gonna look awesome, man. That's gonna, that's gonna look so good. Uh, are these rabbits? The rabbits aren't actually huge, which is great news, because I didn't really want them to be. Um, let's put the rabbit statues... You know what? I want the rabbit statues over here. So, there and there. And we'll put a rustic lamppost just there. And I want another rustic lamppost just in here. 
And I want another rustic lamppost just up here. So like that. And I think that's going to look really good. This one needs to be moved, though I kind of didn't put it in the right spot. Uh, so apparently we're getting attacked. Great. All right, we'll deal with that in a second. Uh, rotate you, put it there. And then the twin rustic lamppost, I don't really know what to do with, to be honest. I mean, there's not really any amazing spots for this right now. So we'll hold on to that one. Uh, we have fire pits. I, I kind of like to put some fire pits around. I think a couple of fire pits could look neat. I just don't know where. I guess over here could look kind of cool with a fire pit. So we'll do one, we'll do one there. And I, I guess we could do another one here. To sort of have the, give the farm a couple of fire pits or something like that. Yeah, we'll do that sort of thing. Give the farm some fire pits. Now, where are we under attack? What's going on here? Invaders approaching. Okay, yeah, we are, wow. Okay, we are really going to need alert mode for that. Uh, let's maybe go ahead and say that we should get red team over there. You need... Oh, okay, you're done. Okay. Yeah, that's rough. That is... That is rough. Uh, red team is fortunately on the way. These guys should be easy to deal with. There we go. So red team has engaged. Oh, yeah. Everything's getting totally messed up there. There we go. Perfect. Nothing to worry about. We'll turn off alert mode. We'll get some people out here to rescue these guys. And everything should be good. We'll kill the wolves. And someone can rescue Roan Frostweaver, who was already being rescued there. Oh my god, Roan's health is super low right now. Who Who is coming out? To, oh, you are? Are you rescuing Roan? Oh, that's good. Okay, can you get Roan back in time? Because uh, if you can't, that's going to be, that's going to be real awkward. That is, that is going to be really awkward. Uh, oh, that's my cook. I was wondering who that was up there. And this is just a raccoon. All right. Okay. I mean, thus far, we're we're fine. Nothing to worry about. Uh, the fire pits are in, which is good. The There's a chase scene. A wounded rabbit limps into town, so it's this again. Okay. Uh, we can patch you up so you can make it home. Let's try that. Yeah, we'll do that. Chase scene, heal the rabbit. We need light bandages. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Let's go to... The, I mean, we can go to the engineer and say do things at this point, which is kind of cool. Uh, let's say engineer, maintain five bronze gears and maintain five iron gears. And I don't really want a turnip shooter. I kind of really want the turret. And stuff like the traps. We have, we can get a bronze port, we can get a portcullis. I didn't know this. I didn't know we could get a portcullis. That's amazing. Uh, so we need light bandages. Why does it say we don't have light bandages? That's weird. Go ahead and craft me like, I don't know, 10 of them. Because we should have them. Unless my herbalist is just doing nothing right now. Where, where is my, oh, you're making the healing tonics. Yeah, you need to get, you need to get a lot of those, don't you? Can I, can I put that up there? Can I, can I, yeah, so there we go. Can I re- Oh, I can reschedule stuff here. I had a lot of people pointing this out to me. I think I've already shown off the orders thing, but... Yeah. Uh, that's- that's a thing. Uh, we'll decline that. What have you got for me? Ooh, look at those fences, man! Ooh, and look at those! Look at the iron lampposts. Those are cool. Uh, let me buy all of those, though. Because I want- I want more of those lights. Uh, as for everything else, we're probably fine. We are- we are probably fine there. Um... Am I missing a light? Am I- am I- I feel like I'm missing a light. I feel like there's, there's supposed to be one in here, isn't there? I feel like it was never put down. That's interesting. Alright, well, uh, let's do... that. And let's get another one. I think one up here is gonna be a good idea. Oh, that could actually be a good spot for a double one. So, right there. And then we could get another one just there. And I think that nicely uh, lights the path, to be honest. I do think that nicely lights the path. 
And I think that'll look really good. So there we go. We got our fire pits over by the farm. Which... They seem nice. Uh, we have got invaders approaching, though. We need an actual bunker, I think. We do need an actual bunker, because I think this under here is... It's not safe. I think we need to get an actual bunker into the center of town, like, right here. Like, have a little tunnel that we dig down and put an actual bunker down there or something. I might actually do, like, back here could be perfect for it. In fact, if I was to remove that... Turn off alert mode, we probably don't need it anymore. Uh, if I was to remove that... If someone wouldn't mind coming out and doing that for me. I'm not sure why the alert mode music's still going. That's That's got me a little concerned. But if someone can remove that fence post... I can move this bit of fence in there, and then we can dig a little tunnel down here. And that would actually be... I think a really good idea. Obviously, we can't do a trap door, but I could... I, I can dig down, I can put a door in the tunnel, and we can go from there. Also, a building's finished. Was it this one? It is. Fantastic. Oh, wait, we are still fighting something, apparently. Okay. Well, I can't believe I missed that. That's always a bit worrying. Um, Alright, I'm gonna wait for them to do that. I'll move the... Uh, I'll move that when, when we get the opportunity to do so. In fact, I think I could probably just get them to mine the tunnel right away. So if I was to say, go here, and then hold Alt, I can actually, like, lower this down. So let's go... I can only go 8. Which is probably fine. So we'll do... We'll do 3 by... 3 by 8. So we'll dig, we'll dig that out. And that seems like it'll be okay. Uh, obviously, we're probably going to need to dig that out a little bit more underground, but, you know, these guys can dig it down, they'll get stuck, and I'll build a ladder, and it should be fine. So there they go, just doing their thing. And when they're done, I'll give them a ladder. I think they're done. Alright. So the ladder is going to go... The ladder needs to go there. There they go. So they can get out, which is fine. And what I want to do is I want to slice into the terrain here and I want to see if I can slice this in such a way that I can like nicely dig a thing out here because that is that is decently below the ground so if I was to do this it's obviously a little bit off center and it actually needs to go a little bit further down so I think I need to go like two more down so like that I'm not actually sure if that is level. Okay, here's what we're gonna do instead. I will... I'll use custom blocks. Because I think that looks... Yeah, that's that's got a height of four, so that should be fine. So what I can do... Is... Go here and remove the... The mining height. And for some reason, that's acting up a little bit. Which is weird. I kind of don't want it to. Um, I don't want to mine above that point. But it seems like the game doesn't want to let me mine the way I want to mine here, so... That's, that's great. Um... Oh, there we go. So I want to mine... There. I want to mine that out. And we're gonna give, we're gonna give them another tunnel. So it's gonna be like that. And then what I need to do, I think, is make it a bit wider at the end. Uh, don't suspend the mining. So we'll make this a little bit, a little bit wider at the end. Uh, like that. And like that. And that should be fine. I think I can probably get a door in the middle of that. Essentially. We'll see. We'll see what I can do. Uh, so we want to go, we want to go like that. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go like that, and then if I was to say, go to build mode, I'm gonna have to wait them, I'm gonna have to wait on them finishing that, okay. That's fine. Basically, I'm gonna put a bunch of doors down there. That's, that's the idea, is I'm gonna put a bunch of doors down there, and it's gonna be, uh, super secure. Also, this still isn't done. Why isn't this still done? It needs a reinforced stone door. Is that what it's missing? Yes, and the window frames. And the fur rug. 
Excellent. Uh, what have you got? Plants? I mean, you've got like red bloom trees. I, I kind of want the trees. They're 50 each, but I mean, we're not really spending our money on much else. So I'll get all of those and then we can, I don't know where we're going to put them. I guess over by the farms. Little red bloom tree there. What is this one? A gold rose tree. I really wanted it to be a gold bloom tree, but all right. Fair enough. Uh, we'll get a couple of these different trees in around here, though. You know, make it look all nice-like. And uh, I guess one over there as well. There we go. Daily updates here. I'm going to say no. Just going to let them do their thing. And I also want to check the progress in the bunker. Also, I can move this, which is great news, because I can put it right there. All right, so how goes the... Ooh. Oh, we don't want those. Uh, how goes this? Okay, that's that's probably going to take a while because I think they're still doing a lot of mining in the uh, in the mountains. So we'll let them take their time. In the meantime, herd of caribou approaches. I'm also thinking we are probably yeah we can complete heal the rabbit, a grateful rabbit. There we go. Uh, the kobolds were chasing you for that reason. Yeah, that's fine. You be safe there, bud. You do what you need to do. We've healed the rabbit. So that's not, that's two rabbit people that we've housed here and then one that we've healed. So, I mean, is it, is it, is it just going to keep doing that quest? I really have no idea. I, I really don't know. But surely, like, if the rabbit people are going to like me, and I should probably stop calling them rabbit people if I want them to like me, but... Surely, if they were going to like me, they would probably like me by this point. I don't know. I might I might be wrong. I might be wrong in that assumption, but that just feels like they would. Uh, now, let's see here. Ornate wooden door, stone double door. I want a stone tunnel door. And uh, it actually will fit in there uh, almost perfectly if I could get the angle right. Yeah, stone tunnel door will... Uh, oh, wait, it's weirdly wide. Okay. So we want normal stone doors, I think? Yeah. So normal stone doors. All right, I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to extend this tunnel. Also the dragon's down there, Spyro's just enjoying the new tunnel. Spyro's just down there like, well, this, this is my lair. This, this is my lair, not. I live here. Apparently that's Spyro's voice. Uh, we'll mine that out and then we'll build the, uh, the bunker sort of back here a little bit. That actually looks to me like enough room for a, a decent bunker anyway, so... Uh, we'll see what we can do there. In fact, if I was to go... Say... Fifth... Let's say... Let's say ten. It doesn't need to be too huge. So ten that way. And ten that way. Then twenty this way. Actually, let's do fifteen this way again. It doesn't need to be too, uh, huge. So fifteen that way, fifteen that way. And whatever this is, which is 25, and then fill up the midpoint and fill up that point. That actually looks like it'll be all right. So we'll go ahead and we'll let them mine that out at some point. And, uh, yeah, I think that'll work. I totally think that'll work. In fact, I'm, I'm going to make one change, which is uh, I'm going to make this just go one little bit deeper. Actually, no. We'll see, we'll see what they can do. We'll let them mine that out and we'll see what they can do. Greetings! I come asking a favor a long time in the making. There is a plant known to my people as Air Bloom, which has not been grown for a long time. It needs the sun to flourish and we've been unable to stay above ground long enough to tend to it for many years. These seeds have been passed down in my warren for generations and I would be grateful and honored if you could grow them for us. I'd be happy to. I would be happy. Fantastic! I'll show them how to plant it, at least as far as I've been told. I shall return eagerly once it's had a chance to grow. Oh, we're doing stuff for the rabbit people! We're doing stuff for the rabbit people! The quest isn't dead! Although invaders are approaching, and uh, alert mode is probably the worst thing to do, because the invaders are right right there. Uh, so red team, go do your thing, or don't. That's good, too. 
Uh, there we go. Seems like we're dealing with the invaders. I think. Um, there are more. There he is. There we go. So, I need to grow air bloom. That's, that's the thing I need to do. So, we need to find a good spot for it. I'm thinking over here since we don't really have, uh, we don't have a whole lot of other space. There we go. Air bloom. Okay. We'll grow a bit of that. Town items full. Okay, okay. Hearthlings cannot harvest resources if their town owns too many items. Storage containers count as items that do not increase the limit. Sell off the extra items or destroy them using the clear item tool. Well, that's awkward. Uh, let's grow a little bit more of this just here and see how that works out. My farmers can do their thing. Looks like we've actually got a bit of a lengthy fight going on here. I'm assuming, yeah, they, they have a cleric. Which uh, hasn't done them so good because the cleric's not dead. But there we go. We'll grow the air bloom and see what happens. Uh, there are a few things that are apparently not being destroyed, which is interesting. I can I can increase the number of items that my town has. That is a thing. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to summon a merchant. Uh, and we'll see if I can sell some things that we don't need. For example... We probably don't need as many of this as we have, or as much of that as we have. We have... We've probably got a lot of things. We've probably got a lot of things we just don't need. Uh, we have 10 of those, for example. We have... I don't know, what else have we got a lot of? We've got 101 copper ore. We have a lot of these trees. I'm going to sell those. I might actually tell my farmers to stop growing trees. That That feels like something we should probably do. Um, I will sell this because that seems like an idea. Uh, what else can I sell though? I mean, I, I really, I, I, are we using, I don't think we're using any of this stuff. So we'll sell that and we'll sell that. I don't, I mean, we have 18 of those, so we'll sell them. I mean, that, that should free us up a little bit. That'll, that'll, that'll clear us up a little bit, I think. There's some stuff that does need to be, you know, admittedly destroyed, but we'll get to that later. Where are you guys going? I assume... Oh, to get wood. That's fair enough. Yeah, that works. Okay. So, we need to grow air bloom. Which is apparently going to be a whole thing, which I'm kind of really excited about. Because, again, we're doing stuff for the rabbits that we haven't done before. Meaning, the quest isn't dead... And the rabbits are are going to be happy by that. Uh, let's see. A new adventure waits. Okay, so we don't have anything regarding the rabbits. I wonder how much of this they want me to grow. And I also kind of wonder how long it takes to grow. Hopefully not too long. I guess probably a couple of in-game days, which is... Uh, that's, that's reasonable. Uh, so this right here, I want to double check what this is missing still. Reinforced stone door. Now, I would assume the mason makes that. Yeah, the mason does make that. So let's craft one of those, and that should let us finish this house, which will be amazing news. Because it means I can go and, say, start constructing the other houses. In fact, to be honest, I could probably say that right away. Go and start constructing the other houses. Am I going to constantly get an engine error every time I try to build that house? Yes, I am. What about this one? Okay, a colony of rabbits is headed towards my farm. Do I want to kill those? I'm not sure why I'm getting an engine error. I think I may be gonna... Maybe gonna delete those. Because I think... Oh, what the... I think the game might be having a little trouble. I don't, I don't think the game's a big fan of... Uh, what I've done here. Yeah, the game is, uh, <laughs> a little buggy, apparently. Uh, daily update, I'm going to say no. That did also clear out the items I wanted to delete, apparently. I, I think I might have to save and reload. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, I, I think I might leave it there for today. I mean, let me just double check how the bunker's going. The bunker has been dug out, which is fantastic news. So, 
before we wrap things up, I guess, uh, what I'd like to do is... Well, we can't, we can't make any of those. We can't really do stone double doors. We could do stone doors. I mean, Carpenter, can you, can you do anything for me? In terms of, uh, crafting a nice door? I'd kind of like it to be reinforced. Reinforced wood door requires iron ore, which apparently we don't have any of. I guess that makes sense. Ornate reinforced wood door. Needs more iron ore as well. What about the blacksmith? Can you do doors? No. Engineered, you can do doors, right? Ironclad door. Make me two of those, if you wouldn't mind. Absolutely make me two of those. Because what I can do with those is good stuff. Uh, and then what we need to do, I guess, is go to build mode, which might be a terrible idea because of the experience we've had with it thus far. Uh, but we'll go to build mode. And I want to go essentially right, uh, right across here. Now, build mode's a little bit weird underground, apparently, but we'll go there. And we'll just build up like this. And I want to see, can I do an ironclad door in the middle of that? I actually can. As to whether or not the game enjoys the fact that I've just done that is a whole other story, but I can do it. Uh, now, right here, hopefully my hearthlings can move those items out at some point. But uh, we can do this. We can say ironclad door. Uh, except I can't because of the items. So that's unfortunate. All right, so what we're going to have to do is essentially erase this wall until the items are moved. So we have we have a lot of hauling to do, basically. Unless I just put the door elsewhere, which I guess kind of works. It's, it's a little cheating, but I guess we'll do the door here. And, uh... Yeah, we can just do that. I mean, I, I guess that works. It's not as nice looking, but it, it works. As for lighting down here, I'm thinking a fire pit's probably not a good idea. I think these lanterns are probably quite nice. Can they, they can't, this one can't go on the wall. I need the, I need the wall lantern. Stone wall lantern, I want the I want the stone cut lantern though. I want the nice kind of fancy one. Not the uh not the normal one. Although I can't really see it, which is a little annoying. Simple stone garden lantern. That's not what I'm looking for. Stone wall lantern. I guess that one. And I guess I'll do I'll do them in like the corners on the pillars. And uh my hearthlings aren't really going to like it down here. That's for sure. They're they're really not going to like it down here, but it is going to be safe. And that's that's kind of the point. So, you know, they're going to have to deal with it. Uh, as far as making it a little more homely, I mean, I guess I could put a floor in there. I guess we'll go for like a nice... What was that? Light volcano? Yes, it is. All right, that's apparently the name of the floor. So we'll do some nice light volcano around the edges. In fact, no, we won't. We'll do some nice dark wood around the edges. Just like this. Now, apparently they really don't like what I've done there. Is there a reason they don't like the, uh... Oh, it's because I was going under that pillar, probably. Uh, so if I go to there, that's fine. They just don't want me building un under the pillar. So we'll go along like this. We'll go to there. We can go down to here. And here. And my question is, can I put it under the door as well? I absolutely can. All right. So that'll work out. We'll go back to stone. We'll go for light volcano. And the rest of this is going to be red. So it's actually going to look quite, you know, it's going to be quite luxurious. It's You got some nice wood. You got some red. It's going to look good. Obviously, the walls could look a bit better, but... We're not we're not really concerned about those. It's it's still a bunker, you know. It's it's still still supposed to be a secure location. It's not it's not a holiday destination or anything. So that'll work. Once we get the doors in, I think that'll be nicely reinforced. Uh, we could maybe do some additional lanterns or something. I mean, I guess I guess in here or something like that. One there and one there, perhaps. 
And I guess on this side as well, we'll do some lanterns. So there and there. All right. Let's build it. Uh, they are probably going to have some issues with, with building some of that, but they will hopefully figure it out. Hopefully, because that's just going to glow red until they do, isn't it? Is, is that... Is that... Are they actually going to try and build it? Is is that a thing? Are they are they actually attempting it or is it Oh, they actually can't figure it out. Really? Well, that's unfortunate. Do I have to mine that out manually? I'm kind of disappointed that they can't figure it out. What if I just get rid of the floor? And maybe the lanterns as well. And we'll just make the lanterns and have someone go down there and place them. Does that help things? So if I not click on the door and say, you know, just, just build it. Hey, there we go. So they can do that. And now there's no issue. So if I go to my blacksmith. And I say, build me stone wall mounted lantern. Give me like. Actually, you know what? Give me the stone garden lantern. Give me eight of them. And in terms of everything else, I don't really don't really care. Uh, so those lanterns are going in. The walls are actually already done, which is fantastic. We have a pottery mason here. We have invaders apparently approaching. We actually do have invaders approaching. Let's pause for a second and not do alert mode. Uh, let's have my red team go focus on that guy. If they wouldn't mind. It actually looks like some of my hearthlings are wandering around just not knowing what to do, which is a bit annoying, but... You know, to each their own, I guess. We'll let them do their thing. One of the archers is actually really injured as well. How did that happen? That's, uh... That's really not good. I think... Do you guys have a cleric down there? It's hard to see if they have a... Yeah, they've got two of them. Focus on that guy. Let's, let's try and murder the clerics, because the clerics are giving us all sorts of problems. There we go, we're good. Alright, so... What we need to do now is we need to slice in here. We need to go and we need to grab... This. And we need to move this. And I'm gonna move it to the center of time for a second, so I can see what I'm doing. And then we need to, uh... Move it down into the bunker. So, the camp standard is being shifted. And now we want to move it again. Slice into the terrain. And say, put it, you know, underground. Oh, I just... Seriously? Uh, put it underground in the bunker. And everything should be fine. So, right there. So, the camp standard goes there. Just like so. And if I go ahead and turn on alert mode... We should see everybody, you know, they run out, they go down that little alleyway. They'll go through two ironclad doors. Along with the pets, of course. Uh, there's Marshmallow, there's... Who is that? Fortitude. The bug. Uh, I'm not sure where Spyro is. Not really sure where Spyro is. Is that another bug? Pet? It is. It's generosity. Of course it is. Uh, Shook Dawn. Some goblins somehow find an entrance to our hovel and are asking for a bunch of wooden doors. We have neither wood nor carpenter on paw, so could you perhaps craft some for us? Alternatively, we're not afraid to fight them off, but we lack the means to heal our injured afterwards. We'll brew some potions. Uh, will do. Let's see here. No problem. There you go. Enjoy. Shook Don. Uh, I hope we're not injured, but fortune favors the prepared. May our friendship continue to take root. Nice. Rabbit reputation increased. Uh, so if we look underground, we now have all of our hearthlings huddled in the bunker. And then we just let them out and they'll go about their business. And that actually, that seems a lot better. New partnership. What is this? Sasha Lightfoot approaches. A small load-bearing stone insect bobbling along behind him. Friends! Not long ago, my kind were afraid of you kin of monkey, but you've dissolved our purposeless trepidation. Uh, trepidation. We have found in you a dependable ally in the above ground. 
It's been nice knowing you as well. In rabbit culture, when a new warren is dug, it exchanges statues with its neighbors to symbolize a mutual welcoming. We know you are unaware of this, but have come to offer this for our part. Sasha ge gestures to the beautifully chiseled statue of smooth, cool stone ornamented with intricate weavings and a golden core of what must be amber stone. This partnership Somewhat unprecedented, but we think that you may represent hope for us against the coming darkness. You shall see us again soon. Oh, and feel free to keep the cricket golem. It would slow me down on the return trip. Farewell. Thank you. We are honored. So what have we been given? What what have what have we got? Cricket golem? Ugh. Autonomous cricket golem. Item carrying golem that somehow works with thought of geomancer. Excuse me? So if I put it there, like what? Cricket golem. Wh what? What is what does this thing do? Like how does how does this work? Are we we I feel like we're getting really close to uh to rabbit folk. We also have amberstone rabbit statue. Oh, that looks amazing. Dude, we're getting friendly with the rabbit people! I'm so, I'm so excited, man! This is awesome! Where do I want to put the Amberstone rabbit statue, though? Uh, what if I move... If I move this... So move this over, like, there, right? I need to look at the cricket golem. Whoa, where'd it go? Hello? Oh, the, oh my god! Is it... No, that's adorable! Oh, stop it, you! <laughs> Dude! Is it just- is it just gonna move stuff into storage? Oh, it totally is! Can I make that with a Geomancer? Because that will solve all of my problems! Dude, that is the coolest thing! That's- that is awesome, man! And then we have the Amberstone Rabbit statue as well. Dude, I... Oh my god. The little cricket golem just going... Look like at him just grabbing stuff and go like moving it around. And then the Amberstone Rabbit statue. It looks amazing, man. That's so good. Now we've got an animal trainer with a boar? A deer, an ostrich. I want the ostrich. A squirrel. What else we got? Doodles. I mean, the boar is neat, but obviously it kind of has to be the ostrich. Obviously. I mean, there, there's not really a, a choice there. Uh, let's see. Can I... I'm going to sell a bit of food that we have here because we do have a lot of it. We can sell that a little bit. Uh, that got us some money back, which is great news. We can sell all of that and sell all of that. And where... Wait, the ostrich, if I'm not mistaken, is going to be in the bunker. Yeah. <laughs> Along with uh, marshmallow and comfort and uh, generosity and generosity and snow, the ostrich. We have an ostrich now. Ostriches are are cool, apparently. Uh, dude, I am so excited about this uh, these golems. Like, if this little guy is gonna hold stuff around, like, how cool is that, man? That's so cool. Like, we're we're actually befriending the rabbit people, and then the statues up. Man, I'm so happy about this. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to pause the game and I'm going to say that that is going to be it for today. Like, this is big news. I know we didn't we didn't build a whole lot. Uh, but... That's awesome. Like, that little golem is so cool, man. He's so cool. Look at him go! Look at him go! He's just, he's off doing his thing. He's just hauling stuff. He's like, I'm going to do my job. I'm a little beetle and I've got a job. That's, that beetle's doing better in life than I was when I was at Sage. You know, like, I, I was... That that beetle has a job. Uh, <laughs> dude, that's so cool. That is so cool. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for today. 
Thank you, Cannon, for watching. It's been my pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.